Hi, I'm an Exodes tick. You may know me as the Western Black-Legged Tick, or Deer Tick. I'm known as a tick that bites people and infects them with Lyme disease. Many people believe that Lyme disease is only found on the East Coast, but Lyme and I also live on the West Coast. No need to freak. Lyme disease is way less common here. Take a look at this risk map of the U.S. But it's still important to protect yourself against me and the diseases I transmit. You may encounter other tick species, like dog ticks. They can bite people too, but I'm the only one who can give you Lyme disease. That's why this video is about me. I have three life stages. First, baby larva, then teenage nymph, and finally, adult. Lucky for you, when I'm a baby larva, there is a 0% chance that I can infect you with Lyme disease. I can only have Lyme when I'm a teenage nymph or an adult. I'm the most dangerous when I'm a nymph because I'm the size of a poppy seed and I'm really hard to notice. When I'm an adult, I'm easy to spot because I'm chonky and you can feel my bites. Like most Californians, I only come out when the temperature suits me. As a larvian nymph, that's in the spring. But when I'm an adult, I generally appear in the late winter or early spring. I also only live in certain habitats, mostly forested or shrubby areas with plenty of leaf litter and grass. This includes habitats from coastal chaparral to oak woodlands, and even in mixed conifer oak forests at elevations of up to 4,500 feet. I can actually sense when people are nearby by detecting elevated CO2 levels in the air. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. But I'm no superhero, so I can't fly or jump out of trees like people think. All I do is crawl up a blade of grass or branch and reach my arms out hoping something or somebody passes me by. Once they do, I grab on and crawl up to a dark and warm spot, like in your scalp, armpits, waistband, belly button, and, uh, other private spots on your body. This all may sound scary, but don't worry. There are ways to avoid me. First, stay on the trail when you're hiking. Also, be careful when you sit on things like rocks, logs, and park benches in forested areas. I hate when you use insect repellent on your skin and clothes. Just make sure it's registered by the Environmental Protection Agency and has one of these three active ingredients. AKA, when you use the spray, I will stay away. A tick check at the end of a hike is a great way to ensure I didn't sneak in. You can have your friends help and have some fear-based bonding. Finally, I hate showers. A shower immediately after a hike will likely wash me away. Despite all these precautions, sometimes I get a bite. Just don't burn or put petroleum jelly on me. That actually doesn't do anything to me. Just grab your tweezers and pull me straight out at the base of my mouth. It's that simple. No twisting required. If I do happen to bite you and I'm infected with Lyme, it will take at least 24 hours of me feeding on you to infect you. If you do become infected, the most well-known symptom of Lyme disease is a bullseye rash. If you develop that, have a fever, or feel fatigued and achy following a tick bite, go to the doctor and tell them about it. Only around 70% of people get the bullseye rash, and it's more difficult to notice on darker skin. So if you have any other symptoms after a bite, it's still a good idea to go to the doctor. Luckily, the risk of getting Lyme disease in California is relatively low, but it's still essential for you to prevent tick bites. Hopefully, you never see me again.